Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And while that other video was loading, I thought I'd go the next step and kind of show you how what would be pretty cool. I've got these two letters. I'm going to, I've already broken them apart. I've already turned them into curves. Like in the first video, I'm going to left click, right click, and then I'm going to place them kind of where I want them. Now this time I'm going to contour three times. That's to the outside three times. I'm going to take this one. And because you've already got it set, it'll do the same thing. So it's going to contour it three times. Now you probably need to move one of these out of the way so those two lines won't conflict. And there's a lot of things you can do with this, but that's we're stretching the limit right here of what you can do with these particular two letters. And then we're going to select everything and we're going to break them apart. We're going to go ahead and take our virtual segment delete key and we're going to delete these lines. Now we've got a lot of little inner lines in there we're going to fill in, but it's a pretty cool effect. Take your smart fill tool and fill that in. Fill that in. Now let's get the zoom in a little bit and take the smart fill tool and fill in. Whoop. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to fill in that. No, on this, I'm going to have to fill that in because I'm just making that C continuous. Now I'm going to fill in that next line and the next line and the next line on each one of the deals. So I have to do it on both sides because it stopped it from working. Now we'll take the, the smart fill tool again and just fill these in all the way across making that a continuous line and what we're doing we're having a white and black outline around this now we're going to take and we're going to go no outline that kind of looks funny in the middle i'm not sure i'll like that well one i'm let's see what happens when you bring in the yellow box if there's anything there Turn that yellow, put it to the background. Yeah, that looks that looks a little weird. So you might want to continue these lines. So let's back up here when we had lines. And let's go ahead and smart fill that in, that in. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like fills that in too. And probably need to fill that in and that in. There we go. That might look better. Now there's two ways you can do things and to get a cool effect. One, this is an outline and we could go to convert it to curves, ungroup them. Let's see how big this is, this is eight inches. Let's change our nudge factor to 10. Let's take that out outline and move it over. Let's take that out outline, which we need to break apart and move it over. Let's move it over twice. And now let's put left click, no outline. Let's move this out of the way. Now, because we've used the nudge distance, I'm trying to get that other part. Let's just nudge it over a little bit and then we can get that part. Go ahead and nudge it back over and use both these and make that line a thicker line. And let's see what happens. We're going to make it 7.75 and make it black. And I'm using somebody else's program and I'm getting a Pantone, which for the video will be good enough. Whenever I do some things in other people's, when somebody sends me a file, and I, that didn't work whatsoever. All we can do is go to range, convert it to an object, and then give it a black outline. And then we can change this to something other than a hairline. Do the same thing for this. See it move just a hair? You got to be careful. Convert it to an object. Give it a black outline, right-clicking, go down to your pen tool, give it 
Let's give this one a one point. And then just nudge these back because we haven't moved our nudge distance. That looks pretty cool. With the exception that we have this outline going through there, but that should be very easily taken care of with the virtual segment delete key. I call it a key, it's a virtual segment delete tool. That looks pretty good. One more delete. Whoop, went too far. There we go. Sometimes when you've got it selected, it doesn't look as good. And I actually need to probably delete these interior lines. Make it kind of look like a border. Give it a lot better look. There we go. That'll be a pretty cool logo for somebody. I'm not sure about these lines going through there, but that would look pretty good. And like I said, once you're selected on something, it doesn't look as good as anything else. Now you could continue that by taking this and giving it a border, moving the border away, contour it just one time, break the contour part, click on this center one and move it out of the way and take this one and make it thicker. Let's make it thicker still. And then move it back. Now you continue that line even further. That'll look pretty cool on a graphic. Anyway, there's a lot of possibilities in that. Hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.